Hey, but I'm here with a new video. Uh, it's actually a new series, so for this series, I will try to get to a mirror in four days. I'm not sure if I will make it because mirrors are right now 680 divines. But I will uh, update a. I will upload a video every day showing my progress. So right now I'm level 91 with a bone shatter. It took me five hours and 20 minutes to complete the campaign. Uh, the reason why I went for Bone Shatter is that it doesn't require much gear, like no specific uniques, no and, and nothing like really specific. Only how to craft a good weapon. Uh, and yeah, I started, uh, as I said in a previous video, I'm not the fastest to get the campaign done, but I think five hours and 20 minutes is still fine. Uh, I didn't, like, I, I emulated a league start, so I didn't give my character some other gear or anything. I just, yeah, I just started on my own, on my own, and yeah. Um, I died a couple of times during the campaign, sadly. Uh, I had uh, too few fire resists at some point, and I died to the boss in Act 6. Uh, but then I killed Kit when I killed the second Kitava, so I, when I finished the axe, I finished at level 68, I think. Yeah, 68. And then I went straight, straight to Heist. Uh, I started getting some upgrades, some uh, Divination cards that I sold, upgraded my gear. And then I didn't die once. And I'm now level 91, so pretty good. Uh, Last time I played Bone Shatter was in uh, Ruthless with Gold. So it's, it's fun to play that build again. Oh yeah. Alright, so with the what's going on with the currency? So right now, I'm at 28 Divines. So how did I achieve this? First off, I went to, uh, to Heist. I did a bunch of contracts, level 67, until I could afford higher level contracts on the on the market so i bought those which is exactly what i did on league start and then as soon as i could i was thinking enough for item level 83 i started doing 83 contracts um got a bunch of divination cards i opened opened some stack decks unfortunately it was pretty bad but i got some good divine uh, divination cards so i got three the fortunate i got one uh divination card for a, a divine i can't recall the name of it the one that gives you seven divines i got one patient i got some other stuff some lower currency one some some divination cards that like 10 15 chaos so yeah uh it went pretty good i sold a ring uh then i did some unusual gem blueprints i sold a couple of the gem for one divine uh some others for 40 50 chaos and yeah i got to level 90 and then i started to run some log books order log books for rug to be able to craft with rug so i ran 10 of those with the currency i had i bought them and then ran those crafted a bunch of items sold like four or five items for, for with rug it's not as uh not as fast to sell those that it was on league start for sure but still still profitable and then i wait uh went to alva temple i did i uh, bought two alva temples item level 83 i ran those like they were the, not the double craft ones but just the one with uh good rooms i got a pair of gloves which was pretty good uh, i will show at the end of the I already sold it, so I will show it at the end of the video. And yeah, that's uh, how I how it went. Um, I also bought a base to replace my weapon, which I crafted and got pretty. It was fractured, and I crafted it and sold it back. I bought the base for two divines and sold it back for eight divines. That that was pretty good too, and yeah, that's how it go. It's going now. Uh, since I'm level ninety, I can craft item level eighty six for rug, so that's how it goes. And uh, yeah, I'll keep you updated and what's going on for day two. Take care, guys.
subscribe to keep up with this video series. Also, leave a comment down below on which mechanic you would like to know more of. So that way I can make a video about it. Take care, guys.